This video is brought to you by Brilliant Work. If you want to improve your problem solving skills and be in the community with people who like math around the world, be sure you guys go check them out. Okay, in this video, let's talk about infinity to the zeroth power. So when we are calculating the limit, when we end up with the form infinity to the zeroth power, can we really draw conclusion right away? And a lot of people will think that, hey, we have a zero in the exponent, so the answer should be just one, right? Well, that's only sometimes. Sometimes this right here does give you one for the answer, but not all the time. So in this video, let me show you a few examples that this right here does give you different answers. And in fact, I have a similar video on zero to the zero's power. Yeah, it does give you different numbers as well. So be sure you guys go check that out. I will have the link in the description for you. But anyway, here is the first example. I would like to just tell you guys that it is of course possible to have infinity to the zero's power to be approaching one. And the example that I would like to give you is the limit as x approaching infinity of x raised to the one over x power. And yes, I did this recently, but I did it by another approach. In this video, I will show you guys another way to approach this. Well, if you first plug in infinity into this x and that x, you will see that this is just infinity right here, and you get 1 over infinity for the power. And this right here, we can actually draw a conclusion. A non-infinity prior for finite number divided by infinity, you get 0. So this is infinity to the zeroth power, but I'm stuck right now. I have to do more work in order to figure out the answer right here. So here's the work. Here's are the steps that I will take in this video for this question. I will focus on the base x. We don't like to work with base x, especially when the exponent is also another function. We like to work with base e. So one way to deal with this is that you can look at x as e to the ln x. And let me write it down right here. We are looking at the limit as x approaching infinity. And for the x, I would like to invite the e to come to help us out but I will have to raise that to the ln x power. And you see, e ln cancel, pretty much you get the x back. And then I will take this as my new base now, and then raise to that 1 over x power. And here, we are going to do two things at the same time right here. First of all, we are taking the limit of this, and we know that e to the whatever, it's a continuous function, so I can just focus on taking the limit of that exponent right here and special e is just a constant. So I will actually like to write down the e first, and then I will take the limit as x approaching infinity, and now I have to focus on the exponents. Of course, e to this power and then to that power, we just multiply the powers. ln x times 1 over x is just ln x over x. So I will just put down this right here, ln x over x like that. So once again, I pretty much just put the e on the very like outside like this, and we're focusing on taking the limit of just the exponent part. And this is so wonderful because if you now plug in infinity here, you get ln infinity over infinity, and ln of infinity, we can draw a conclusion, this right here is infinity, and of course on the bottom we still have infinity. And by now you guys should recognize that this right here is an indeterminate form but we prefer this indeterminate form because we can use Lapidus rule. So I will come here and then I'll just do Lapidus rule right here. Differentiating the top and also differentiating the bottom. And we'll continue. Here, I still have my nice space E. And for the exponent, I have the limit as x approaching infinity. And the derivative of ln x is just nicely 1 over x over the derivative of x is just nicely equal to 1. And now, I just have to plug infinity into this x, and you see, here, we have e for the base, and for the exponent part, we end up with just 1 over infinity, because x is approaching infinity, so that's what we have. Well, well, of course, 1 over infinity, that's just 0, so we get e, and then this is 0, and if you work that out, you get 1. So the answer to this limit question is 1. I don't like this so much because this is just like <laughs> to give you guys a false belief. Hey, infinity to a zero power is 1. I told you, like they told me already. No. So here, let's take a look of different examples 
right here. So let's pick any positive real numbers that you want. Of course, let's pick some famous one. Let's pick E. Here, let me just give you guys an example that infinity to the zeroth power that will actually approach E. And in fact, once you see this right here, you can change the E to any positive number that you want, right? And here is the deal. You see, hmm, right here, I end up with one. Why did I end up with one? Because of this right here. Because of the exponent here, this limit here, it happened to be zero. So if I don't end up with zero here, then I won't end up with one, right? Because in the end, you see, we took e to the zeroth power. That's how we end up with one. I really want to make sure that this exponent here, this limit here, it's not zero, right? Let's see what can we do. Here, I have ln x for the exponent. That's pretty much the base right here, right? That's kind of the same. And this x is kind of like, okay, it's just one after you do the Lapidus rule. And this x is from here, which is from here. But what if I change this x to ln x? And that will be an ln x in red on the top over an ln x in black on the bottom. They cancel each other out and you just get one. But that's not the answer. In the end, you do e to the first power, so you get e. So here, let me show you. I would like to just show you the limit as x approaching infinity. And let's look at this as x, still for the base. And I would like to raise that to the 1 over ln x power. You can do a quick check. When you plug in infinity here and infinity here, you get 1 over ln of infinity. Ln of infinity is infinity, so you can once again draw a conclusion. This is infinity to the 1 over infinity, and that's of course just like that over there. It's again infinity to the zeroth power. So I'm still on the same indeterminate form. But anyway, you see now, I will just take the limit as x approaching infinity. For the x, I will write it down like that, which is e to the ln x. And then I will raise this to the 1 over ln x power. And then we do that. Put this right here for the base, and then we, took the lim we take the limit of this, which we, here we have the limit as x approaching infinity. This times that, I will just write down ln x over ln x. And as I told you, this right here give you 1. So you see that this is just e. And here you have ln, I mean, limit as x approaching infinity. Then this is just 1. ln x over ln x is, of course, 1. And the limit of 1, oh, it doesn't really matter what x is approaching now, it's just 1. So in the end, you have e to the first power. And of course, this is just nicely equal to e. And now, perhaps I will you know, give you a little challenge. What can I fix right here so that this right here is infinity to a zeroth power and we end up with, let's say, 5? Right? Leave a comment down below and then let me know. So this is really, really cool, right? But I think some of you guys are not satisfied because, okay, can infinity to a zeroth power to be infinity? Well, let me show you as well. I want to have some more space, so let me just write this down. Okay, let me erase that. And this was still infinity to the 1 over infinity's power, right? So infinity to the zeroth power like that. All right, so another example here. Let's talk about how I can get infinity to a zeroth power to get to infinity. This is really cool, right? Well, let me just see if I can just somehow modify this functions here and then uh, I make this happen. So I will take the limit as x approaching infinity. I would still like to have the x for the base. Hmm, what can I do though? Earlier I saw that, okay, I changed the denominator here to become ln x and this is 1. All right. If I can somehow end up infinity power right here, right? Because if I can somehow end up with infinity from this limit, then I will be done. And it seems that I will have this ln x on the top all the time. So I just have to have to, I just have to make sure that on the denominator here, I have to have a smaller infinity so that this big infinity over a smaller infinity, I get 
infinity? Well, L1x is actually a pretty small infinity. How can I make it even smaller? It's easy. I can just apply inf I can just apply Ln again. So here I will just take x raised to the one over Ln of Lnx power like this. So now let me show you what I'm talking about. So here I will just write this down as a limit as x approaching infinity. X is just that again, so it's e to the ln x times that, which is 1 over ln of ln x now. And we pretty much do the same thing. This right here will put e on the very outside like this, and then raise this to the power of the limit as x approaching infinity. And I pretty much have this times that, so this time it's ln x on the top in red, and then over ln of ln x like that. And once again, you can do a super quick check. When you plug infinity into here, you get ln of infinity, and this is going to be ln of ln of infinity. On the top is infinity over, this is infinity, ln of infinity is still infinity, all right? But on the bottom, this right here is actually a small infinity. But anyway, this right here is L'Hopital's rule ready. Therefore, we can just differentiate the top and then differentiate the bottom. And let's see what we get this time. Here, I have e for the base, and then we raise this to the limit as x approaching infinity. On the top, the derivative of just ln x is 1 over x, and on the bottom, the derivative of ln of ln x is the following. You first do 1 over the inside, which is ln x. And then, by the chain loop, we have to multiply by the derivative of this, so I will multiply by 1 of x. And now, take a look. The 1 of x and 1 of x cancel each other nicely. And this is 1 over ln x in the denominator, so I will have to bring this up, up. <laughs> and when you plug in infinity into here, you end up with e raised to the ln of infinity, and you'll see that this right here is pretty much e to the infinity's power, and this right here gives you, of course, infinity. Well, another challenge for you guys is that, is it possible to have infinity to the zero's power that you get zero for the limit? So I'll leave that to you guys. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and hopefully you guys all like this video. And before we go, I just want to tell you guys more about Brilliant.org. It's a wonderful place for you guys to go if you want to learn more about how to solve interesting and challenging math questions. Because they have new problems of the week every week, ranging from basic to advanced. And some of the questions are really hard, but I think a lot of you guys will enjoy solving. And sometimes you just see this kind of special cases, just like the ones that I presented here. Really interesting, but you know, a lot of times, a lot of people just have the misconceptions, such as anything to the zero's power should be one, but that's not the case, especially when you are talking about limit situation. And Brilliant.org can help you to really study this kind of small details along the way, so that you can actually learn the math the right way. And if you guys would like to sign up for the annual premium subscription, you guys can use the link Brilliant.org slash BPRP. That's the little link. Yeah. And you guys can click on the link in the description. And if you guys use that link, you guys can actually get 20% off discount for your annual premium subscription, which is really wonderful, right? So be sure you guys go check that out. And once again, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, that's it.